So you don't think this is steep to go down? I will show you, man. I'm a, this, I, I used to have like a little thing about ladders. About 23 years, 25 years ago. <laughs> it's nothing to it, man. Once you got your ladder base on solid, on a solid surface, you shake it before you start getting all the way up here. I, my, my, my mistake I did before was I got all the way up there and then the ladder moved and your heart jumps out of your, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you start down there, you shake the ladder. If it don't go nowhere, you go and walk up and I guarantee you, you never no problem. All right, what's up everybody? Another day, another beautiful day. It's actually about to be like 90 freaking degrees out. But here we are, we're actually in Philadelphia. I am shooting a music video for the first time ever. I've shot music videos before but I only ever did the filming part. I never actually took the footage, added the music together, edited it in one thing and matched the voices and all that. So this is a learning experience for me. Uh, I'm here in West Philadelphia. There's a block party today. And the guy who made the song is actually a friend of a friend. Basically, they were at my house the other day. We did a podcast. We shot some of the video there. This is the golden opportunity to get organic natural footage of Jay Smith, Cut a Breeze, myself out at the block party. He's doing a live performance today of the song and uh, uh, more of his music. So I get to see that. And I decided since I'm here, I'm going to shoot a vlog. I know there has been an incredible amount of like news coverage and negativity surrounding Philadelphia in the last like five years, uh, specifically like Northeast Philadelphia, North Philadelphia, and West Philadelphia. Yet another violent weekend across the city of Philadelphia. More than a half dozen people have become victims of gunfire in less than 24 hours. Living in West Philadelphia concerned tonight because they say things aren't getting any better. Gunshots have unfortunately become the soundtrack of many lives in West Philadelphia. The double homicide adding to a growing list of violent incidents in the city. Earlier that evening in Overbrook, there was a shooting that 55th and Market Streets. That's in West Philadelphia. West Philadelphia. West Philadelphia. West Philadelphia. West Philadelphia. I'm basically bringing you all along with me today to kind of show that just have faith in humanity and don't listen to or believe everything you see on the news, the media, or online, the internet, because chances are it's not the entire truth. And I'm just here basically to prove that, like, I've never been in this neighborhood before in my life, never stepped foot in this neighborhood before in my life. And I'm here, I'm gonna have an amazing day. And I'm gonna show you guys that, you know, Philadelphia is not what it's cracked up to be. And there's good people out here. I know that for sure because I know both these dudes. Yeah, just don't listen to what you see all the time. I'm not really, I'm not encouraging anybody to go somewhere that they think might be dangerous and just start walking around. That's not the point. The point is experience life and things for yourself and take what other people say with a grain of salt because until you've been there and you've seen it, you don't know for sure that anything's true. So we're about like two miles away getting gas at this gas station right here. It's gonna be a good day. So stay tuned. West Philadelphia block party going down and I'm gonna share it with everybody watching for the dream. You. All right, I officially made it to the location <clears throat> where I'm supposed to meet up with these guys. And it doesn't seem like anyone's home unless Breeze is in here uh, sleeping. So it's pretty much just wait until they call me back, I guess. But I'm assuming he's either in here or he went to go pick something up. But why does it seem like I'm just calling him? Either way, we're out here. I'm just gonna chill for a minute. Here we go. We made it out here. Jay Smith already has the gear on, representing. 
So for the viewer's sake and my own, what's going to happen today? Uh, if it don't rain like this, I'm supposed to be performing live at Winfield Reunion, but a little five song set, a little half hour drink, give you a taste of the uh, J. Smith H live and uh, Bad Chick live, you know, and a sneak peek behind the scenes to Bad Chick music video shot by Tucker F. Upper. You want me to drive or you want me to tell you where to go? Directed by myself. I'll drive. No, because he was sitting there. Something told me, Jay. Just run the Vajra. You don't pay attention. The car is sitting right there. Something told me run the Vajra. So I, I run the Vajra. I because I said you left your phone. Didn't you? I run the Vajra. Tucker. Be there. Supper. And then I what take him here because I know you were here. Yo, I was just sitting on your porch. I thought you were inside. Oh, oh, you yeah. just made it in time for scene number one. Done. What? Are we already on? We're been on. We've been on. Look at this guy. Run it. Freedom yeah. to dream. I, I got, got other shirts. Yeah, too. I want this shirt. We gotta have a shirt on. Freedom to dream, yo. Oh, Breeze, can you run your car and got it on Bluetooth speaker? This is it? I think. Right, that's it. All right, so this video is probably going to be a little bit confusing. I did not get as much actual like vlog footage as I should have. Uh, right off the bat, we basically started filming scenes for the music video because that's why I was there, uh, was to film Jay Smith's single, Bad Chick is the name of the song. So we went right to the convenience store as you can see and I do have a lot of footage but sadly when I posted the podcast yesterday last night I posted it the song actually got a copyright claim so for people who don't know on YouTube if you use somebody's copyrighted work and it gets picked up by the algorithm basically your video is claimed by the copyright owner so if your video contains a famous song, even in the background, it doesn't have to be something that you meant to put in the video. It could be playing at a store. It could just be, say if my, my neighbors were playing any song that was famous and owned by a copyright owner, and I was recording out back and it, the audio picked it up, that copyright owner can claim all the money that is made from your video and they receive the money, you don't receive it. So I have to cut out, in this video, I didn't ever talk to Jay Smith or Breeze about why the, the song has a copyright claim. I haven't had time to. They're actually in Atlanta today doing a show. I don't know what the reason is, but I'm going to try to s step lightly because I don't want to get this video claimed. I want to make the money that I can off of it. A lot of the scenes that we shot or for the music video, so I'm gonna to have to cut out a lot of that and the live performances that he did at the uh, Winfield reunion, which was the block party, are gonna to have to be cut too because they were playing music the whole time. Uh, but here we go. So we went to the convenience store and then we drove over to the block party, right, for his performance and he performed about six songs and I got all of them on film. So I'll just show a little bit of the block party and s some of the songs spliced up in the next section but I can't run them too long like I just said because of the copyright and I do want to say that I was totally out of my element at this place so I did felt a little bit weird going around and filming everybody in the crowd or at the event um, I was the only one filming there I believe and I just felt awkward doing it, so I didn't get much footage other than the performances. Uh, but let's do that first, and then I'll run through the rest of the video as it comes with y'all.
gonna perform for y'all, they wanna perform for y'all on this beautiful day. Winfield, what up? Y'all know me as Jay Smith. Jay Smith sweating me featuring EMS on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music. About to go down to Chicago, open up for Soldier Boy. We rapping for Winfield everywhere. He about to put Winfield on his back. About to go down ATL on the 17th. Drop my record, let's go. Winfield, haha. <laughs> Jay Smith. <laughs> Let's go. Eagles wild. They tell me to slow down. Living to the fullest. Fast life, fast lane, fast girls. I'm pulling. Nah, wasn't I though? It is your girl. Too glad to remember I said I was proud. She tried to grab, but I just rolled up trying to get up. Said it was gas and it was gas. So she just told me sex. Now I'm back with that gooey pack. So you know you're a cutie back. So why must do me that? Be in this shit and grooving her. Oh, I went nuts. Too gone for too long, so I knew I had to get up. I wrote this in jail, so now they think I'm psychic. Oh, it's profit, bone, profit. Let's go, preserve my life, classic. We out here, what's the little day, baby? It's what's the little day, that's what it is. It's what it is, this is how it's going down. Went to the finest, they voted for me, I was into the street. But like 13 years running, and I'm still that street. So the concert was a huge success. You guys saw it. I put all the footage together. I used a copyright free song and just put all this, the footage I had in one little video. So after that, we went back to Breeze's house and the first time I ever had been in the house. So I show, I'm gonna show a little bit of that footage. And a unique opportunity popped in my head. I have this guy, Kyler Vick. He's my good friend. I've known him for like, I wanna say definitely 10 years or more, um, but he's a stunt guy. And one of his main things that he does is high falls. So he jumps off of high buildings, cliffs, bridges um, into like a landing mat. So I saw Breeze's roof and it looked perfect for the uh, a high fall. So I said, yo, my friend's coming here from Utah in about a week or so. Is there any way that we could use your roof? And he was loving the idea. So we went up on the roof to check it out, but this is probably like one of the scariest things I've ever done, which is weird, but going onto the edge of a roof and then putting an extension ladder on there when it's like on, I don't know. The surface didn't seem totally straightforward to me. Either way, we got up there and that's what that footage is. So enjoy. Look at this guy's gnarly ass dog. Yo, what's up dude? I don't know if it's a girl or a boy yet. Is this a girl or? What's her name? Ivy. Ivy? Yeah. All right, she's nice. Yeah, she is. That's, that's, that's me right there. 
Cool, All right, we made it to made it to Breeze's crib. Look at this. I want to make this sort of a, like a, I don't know you're saying. I want every freaking wall painted. Art everywhere. And I lost my mind with art. Yeah, baby, you see that? Life is art. Everywhere you look, look around, you see everything. Who did all this? My man Skip, you'll meet him soon. Skip. We ain't done. We're gonna do this whole house, man. And nothing on that side. Downstairs got a whole ancient ancient uh, Egypt one, man, nearly. That's a bird. That's supposed to be me. Hold on, I'm coming. Yeah, yeah. I got this is you right here? Yeah, that's like an avatar. The shirts that we got. That's the most simple. Is that a self portrait? Yeah, I guess. If I was a bird. <laughs> that's my man, Benny, Ricky, and his daughter. Okay, good ropes, man. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, that's unfinished over this so. All we do is freaking around, sit around here, and goof off and make good art. Real target. Exactly. This is my fascination. See, now, if you look across the street pretty much, you see that? That's you saw it's right a here. slanted roof out there. Yeah, but you put it right in the middle. So the ladder goes, sits perfect, and you just run up to the roof. Really easy. You take seven steps and you're on the roof. This is how they're going to go out there. Guy's wild. <laughs> Damn, no, he didn't. When was the last time you were outside of here? I did this in, I built so many houses in here. This is a normal day in here, my life. This is a normal day? Normal day in my life, man. Freedom to dream. This is literally the sketchiest operation uh, I've so ever good. seen in my entire that. life, bro. That's I'm good. not even gonna lie. If I can get that out of you, then I'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, give me some. I need a hammer, bro. I'm looking at a hammer. I'm like, <laughs> Yo, he's saying that we're gonna extend this ladder and put it up to the roof right, so and then climb up that way. Let west. me get a hammer or something, bro. It's Instead a of just going up the normal way. Oh, motherfucker. This is how we do it in West Philly because everybody don't have a long behind you. Give me something heavy well, like you need to have an extension ladder. Where, no, where, 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 where? I don't care. Give me something that'll where, smack where, where, where? something, bro. I don't care. Yeah, anything. No, 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 no. Hold up. Give me such a heavy. Let's hit it on the ground. Yeah. If you just hit it, it like bro. All right. Go downstairs and give me a pipe wrench or something. Okay. There you go. Oh, now you get talking, little yeah. guy. And hey, get the cameras, bro. Yeah. That's so funny. That, that's real. New ladder. Where's that gun? I'm not gonna slide off. That's it. I'm never gonna set you up. I'm up here, right? I'm up here, right? You're, you're, you're killing me here. <laughs> this is gnarly as hell. That was so gnarly. Hey, my man Tucker said it was gnarly. And we gonna show you really, but hardly. Look at this. Yo, the amount that that tree has grown outside of its... Oh my God. That's just, I had a tree, tree in, my, that? in my driveway. I mean, in my alleyway when I first moved here. I cut, I cut it. It would have been that size. That was 1999. This is like Spider-Man up here. Any cool though? Yeah. You can see a You can like city. spin your web to the next the next row of houses. You can get some of the city in there. No direct TV no more, that's old. Was that here at one point? Yeah, we had. This, What's this? this the roof roofing thing? Yeah, that's old. This roof was done in 1999. My that was God. the last time it was done? And it don't leak. I'm I'm impressed. 
the guy was my OG. He, he he just he just passed away like three years ago. He was like almost eighty. He been moving until the day he passed. It's looking good though. We out here. Yeah. But yeah, now you know what we got up here. You see how easy it is. But this is what my plans is. I want to put a spiral deck up to here and walk right under the roof, and then there'll be a deck up here. And then see how the uh, half of an uh, octagon, right? It's going to be banished, you know, handrail going <laughs> Damn, across going there. Going down's going to be gnarly, like, bro. Handrail and going across there with LED lights on the top. So then from down there, it's going to look crazy. You know, I'm a dreamer just like you. That's why we got freedom to dream. You do dream just like me. Like I'm that, telling you, I see so this much. This deck up here mm -hmm. would be mm. the best idea ever. We have so you're the same. You, me and you are so much like bro. I can see. It. That's why I'm like, why? Right here, that's why it's no electric. What? This with electric. How do you can't you just reattach it? Yeah, the wire down there. But they, I think they might have cut it too short. I might have to buy a new wire. But I don't care. Snip it, put it right back. In. I'm a good. I never done it ever. Yeah, Yo, you should parkour to the next house over. Oh my god. That's what your guy gonna do. He's probably gonna jump into that tree or something. <laughs> <laughs> right. I there. can't wait to see this man. <laughs> I wanna usually don't break a sweat, but we just climbing all around it out here in West Philly in the row houses. And I know y'all gonna see that big time hit we gonna put it produce. We're gonna put it out there. Yeah, Tucker Fupper. He got the right guys on his team now. Eagle Squad! <laughs> show, show this stunt though, the general area. So look, you saw, see this guys? We're gonna have our guy, what's, what's the name again? Kyler uh, Vick. Kyler Vick. Like Mike Vick, right? Yeah. He gonna go Hail Mary, all right y'all? Like Mike Vick did, trying to get a championship again. And he gonna take it from this roof all the way down to here. Y'all ask me how that's gonna feel, I don't know. Only he can tell you. <laughs> that, that wire won't be in the way. All we do is... You know, we'll, can we move it this way a little bit? Yeah, the we, wire? we'll take a rope, tie it, and pull it this way. And then much slack See how get. much it comes, right? Yeah. Like, if we could use, like, a little gainy, like a... It ain't gonna be a problem. Even if we, and if we can't, we we'll, I got... All my neighbors are cool, so we'll get on somebody else's roof and do it. <laughs> oh, so, like, the same height, but somewhere yeah. else. Yeah, we can okay. go over there. Anyway. Oh, there's yeah, no right. wire over there, so if we had to... No, no, there's no wire right there. That's pretty much perfect right yeah. there. But, hey, we're going to do that. I, I can't wait. I'm excited, man. I ain't going to be to sleep. I want to see Kyler Vick go nuts up here. He ain't been in West Philly yet. He going to get him a West Philly joint. Jumping all crazy. Y'all seen it? YouTube all crazy. Got the YouTube going crazy like slot machines after you bust it open. Huh? You see the video, you see the view, and you got the bird's eye point of view. It's your boy Breeze, Tucker. When we doing everything we gotta do, we get numbers. If it takes a few views or news on YouTube or Bluetooth, or your boy Breeze getting in the booth, I got proof, and I got freedom to dream. You best believe. And we gonna keep it at 100, man. I love it. What's this from, you think? I pulled this up here. I was ready. I don't know what. I was coming up here to do something. To just lay it down yeah, again. I was just going to do yeah, something. but adding adding all the weight would be probably a bad idea. You yeah. can just use like the paint, like that silver shit, right? Bro, that don't even. I was gonna put it this so. So you don't think this is steep to go down? I will show you, man. I'm a. This I I used to have like a little thing about ladders. About twenty three years, twenty five years ago. <laughs> it's nothing to it, man. Once you got your ladder base on solid on a solid surface, you shake it before you start getting all the way up here. I, my, my, my mistake I did before was I got all the way up there and then the ladder moved and your heart jumps out of your, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you start down there, you shake the ladder. If it don't go nowhere, you go and walk up and I guarantee you never no problem. I'm gonna I'm show you, you, you'll get a lot of more confidence when you understand. See, that's how I get it, I understand it. You gotta understand it. Nothing to it. Like, it ain't nothing. Yep. Yeah. You're, you're right. You're right. It's not going away. I could jump around this one. It's not going to be. It's not on. A, it's not on a pitch enough to slide off. And it's on a level surface. I built this roof. I had to rip it all up and put it back in. Thank you, bitch, for ripping it up. All right. Here at Breeze's house. 
if he didn't have this fence, this uh, tent set up, I would not be able to even stand out here. It's probably 90 degrees and really, really humid. I don't know if anyone's familiar with the general Philadelphia area, but whoo, it gets like heat stroke weather. But I'm gonna fly the drone up, see if we can fly it. I don't know, I've never tried in this area before. And if so, we'll get some shots of this neighborhood and the house. Hit that again, I didn't get that. <laughs> no way. No way. No way. <laughs> I've never seen anyone do that before. Specifically. That was that original. On the V block. Yeah, got my man Tucker came out of here from Jersey. All right, so for the last shot of the day, we actually rode over to uh, Fairmount Park. Also the first time I had ever been there before. We made it to the park. What is this park That's though? That's the money too Fairmount one. Do you park. have the, um, one of the, you have the sweat in me or the other one? Did anybody plug the speaker into the um, box thing? I have a very limited amount of footage from that but it was cool to check it out. It was like just a whole bunch of people hanging out, barbecuing and just straight chilling. So I could definitely see myself going back there one day, maybe with the family. And yeah, that was, that was the end of the day. So I'll just, I'll just play some of that footage over me talking right now. Cause I don't think we got enough. And then I headed home. So that is the conclusion. That was my West Philadelphia vlog. It was the first time I had ever been to that part of Pennsylvania before in my life. Winfield, very interesting, interesting town. I didn't really film everything, but we went from the one section, which was like row homes and seemed a lot more poor. And then we went to the other section, which I guess is called Winfield Heights. And that was like a really nice, extremely wealthy looking neighborhood. So there's like a duality in that specific little town of Philadelphia. It's kind of like on the brink of maybe one of the worst sections of Philadelphia next to maybe one of the wealthiest, most expensive places to live in Philadelphia. So that kind of threw me for a loop. I didn't really know anything about the area. So I found that interesting. I just want to say that I was given nothing but pure love the entire time I was in West Philadelphia. So just what I said in the beginning of this video, I'm gonna have to judge it for myself and very positive experience. I was treated with great respect, to be honest. I will definitely be going back, especially for the stunt that we have planned that I was talking about earlier. But I think life isn't cut and dry all the time. And a lot of what happens to you in life is how you present yourself to other people. It's how you walk around. It's how your, you know, your whole body language, your face, the way you talk, the way you treat people, the way you act to people is going to contribute a lot to how you're treated in certain situations. So I think if you're just a good hearted, you know, person who's just out to make positive experiences, most, most of the time, that's what you're going to get in return. Obviously this was a little different because I was invited there by people who had lived there. Uh, Breeze his entire life, 40 years or something, he lived in that same exact area. I think even he went to high school there. He lived there his whole life. So yeah, being welcomed in by some OG locals definitely had a lot to do with how I was treated. But yeah, that was my experience. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I know it was a lot shorter than a normal one of our videos, but I figured I went out there, I filmed what I filmed. I might as well put it in an edit and share it with everybody uh, here on YouTube. And I just want to say we did do a podcast with Jay Smith and Breeze, and that is on our other channel. So I've been trying to diversify uh, the content that we post to YouTube. It might not seem like it, but this is an extremely hard thing to do. When you get on YouTube and you get in a box, like a niche, which ours is like in the picker niche, it's in that junk collecting, trash picking, storage unit, flea market, yard sale niche. And it doesn't have to do so much with your viewers as it has to do with the YouTube algorithm trying to keep you in that space. To diversify content on YouTube and break out of your niche is extremely hard to do. Um, and I've always been someone that doesn't want to be stuck. The reason that I do YouTube and the reason that I work so hard on each and every video that we post is because I don't want us to be stuck in one place. I want us to be able to film and do things that are outside of that and post that online and still have people watch it and enjoy it. So. The podcasting stuff is definitely not in that, that same niche. It's not in it at all. So like for me to post that could be seen as counterproductive, but I do want to do it. I have a lot of fun doing it. And I want to continue to do it. So please, everybody, if you could go over to our other channel, Strange Occupations, I'll put the name and everything right here and check out our newest podcast featuring the two guys that were in this video. Sammy actually does have a part in that podcast too and what she says to me was deep and powerful so if you want to check out you know some of that please do it i'll let the link to our podcast our newest podcast as the very first thing in the description box so all you have to do is go right below this hit the link and it'll take you right to the video and if you haven't already please subscribe to our second channel um, because we're going to be posting other stuff similar to that on that channel and other stuff in the future. Also, I did hear from a bunch of people that they've not only been not notified about new uploads, but they've actually been unsubscribed from this channel or our other channel. That's another thing. If you guys enjoy our content, please head over to our main channel right at the top and hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, um, please make sure that all of your post notifications are turned on. So when we do upload a new video, you'll get notified about that content. Uh, you can also do that for our second channel as well, but I'm not going to go on and on here. I just wanted to throw down a couple things here so that you guys can understand the vlog more and maybe it'll help you appreciate it more, but that's it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out and keep pushing everybody. The dream is real. Sammy almost just tripped over there behind the camera. Peace.